Okay, in this problem, we want to find the area between the line f of x equals 2x plus 6 and g of x equals this parabola and the two vertical lines x equals 1 and x equals 3. So first, let's graph f and g, which I just did here on Google. So let's see, f is the blue one, g is the red one. So we're looking at this area in between the two right in here. And it also says in between x equals 1 and 3. So let's zoom in a little bit more. That's as good of a picture as I'm going to get here. So I'm going to snag this photo. And there we go. Okay. And then I'll just draw in the vertical lines by hand here. So x equals 1, it appears like that's where they cross. It probably does. So let's plug in 1 real quick. Um, f of 1, I'll just do this in my head, it's going to be 2 plus 6 is 8. And g of 1 is going to be 1 minus 4, which is negative 3, plus 11. Yeah, that's also 8. So they definitely cross there at 1. Now at 3, they're not crossing at 3. That's that line right there. Um, so we're trying to find this area here, exact area. So we're integrating from x equals 1 to x equals 3. And you do top function minus bottom function. The top function is this line, which is f. So in this case, the area is going to be the integral from 1 to 3 of the upper function, the line f, 2x plus 6 minus the lower function, now make sure you put a parenthesis there, so minus the parabola g, x squared minus 4x plus 11. Now, let's put a dx. Um, it's going to be simpler to, or easier, to simplify this first before I anti-differentiate. In other words, I'm going to go ahead and distribute out the negative and combine like terms. And I'll put them in decreasing order, like normal. So the first term will be negative x squared. Then we'll have 2x. This will become plus 4x, so positive 6x. And then positive 6 minus 11 is negative 5. Now anti-differentiating this, when we add 1 to the square, we get a 3. So negative 1 third x cubed minus integral or the antiderivative of x is x squared, 1 half x squared. So the 6 over 2 for the 1 half will become 3 x squared. And the integral of a constant is just that constant times x. We're going from 1 to 3. So plug in 3 minus plug in 1. So negative a third times 3 cubed. I'm going to do a little work in my head as I go. Um, 3 cubed is 27 minus 3 times 3 squared, that's 9, minus 5 times 3 is 15, minus, big parenthesis, plug in 1. So when we plug in 1, we'll get negative a third, minus 3, minus 5. And that's just kind of tedious right there, but uh, let's come over here and keep going. So, but it's very doable. Um, 27 times a third. 27 over 3 is 9, so that term is minus 9. Then 3 times 9 is negative 27. We still have this minus 15 here. I'll just carry that along. Uh, then here, I'm going to keep that third. I'm not going to add it in yet. We'll just distribute this negative and write it as plus a third. Then this is going to be, let's see, negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. Times this negative 1 will become positive 8. And I think you can get it from here.